Hello, this is Roy Lilly. Well, you know, I always feel, well, I don't know, a sense of responsibility when writing on a Monday. Well, actually, for me, today is Sunday as I'm recording this, so I'm thinking about Monday, but you know what I mean. You know, what can I say that might just might be a thought that that carry through the week? Uh, you know, have a, a phrase, maybe a phrase, maybe a phrase we don't think enough about and certainly don't use enough. Four words. The four words, well, what do you think? What do you think? It's a great phrase, isn't it? It says you're a person whose opinion I value. I want to hear what you think based on your experience, your knowledge, your background. What do you think? You'll have seen and know things I never will. So based on that, what do you think? It takes engagement, I think, to a new level and refines, redefines probably involvement. Make a determined effort to put the four little words to work for you this week. They punch above their weight. They'll say, I'm listening. I want to know. It's important. Tell me. And if you don't know what you think, that's okay too. <laughs> Ask you the question with the right intonation, with a hint of, what do you think? Because I've no idea what to think. Great a conversation. Conversations start relationships and relationships create trust. And that's more what's more important than trust. So as I sit at my desk typing, the truth is I have no idea what to think. What are we supposed to make of the extraordinary intervention from the General Medical Council last week, where on the basis of no facts, or none that I can find, claims were made that 96,000 doctors could be leaving the NHS. It's not true. It is true that doctors, many of whom are entangled in strike action, are for good reason dissatisfied with their terms of employment and the brutal training regime required of them. It is true that any survey undertaken at this time is likely to be as representative of frustration as the actuality. It's also, also true that the BMA have been asleep at the wheel and various governments have exploited their somnambulism, hence their predicament. It's also true we don't need a zombie survey to deduce doctors are hacked off. What do you think? Do we need a survey conducted last summer online with a handful of self-selected participants to tell us the NHS is not what it was and probably never will be. Don't know. What do you think? This survey goes to extraordinary lengths to wring out the last ounce of pretty lean data, creating charts and graphs from last summer during the height of the junior doctor's strikes when a lot of people said a lot of staff about being ready to pack their bags. The survey claims on page 46, and I linked to it this morning, Overall, 30% of doctors currently practising are likely to move abroad to practice medicine in the next 12 months. Well, as only 3,154 doctors took part in the survey, I find that a bit of a stretch. What do you think? Leaving the UK, family and friends, contacts, property and HP source is a big step. And actually, very few doctors do it. In fact, over the past decade, the proportion leaving overall has remained pretty much constant at about 14 to 15 percent. And I linked to some data on that this morning, all part of a predictable global churn where health staff are in short supply. I know that because in order to practice over there, doctors need a certificate of good standing from over here issued by guess who? Yes, the GMC. The application numbers look like this. In 2018, about 6,500 people applied for a certificate in good standing, and let's take that as our baseline. 2019, it was about 6,100, so it went down a bit. Looks about right. 2020, it went down again to just over 5,000, and that's probably the COVID who kibosh people's plans. 2021, it went up a bit, 5,500. That was still probably covid 2022, well, it shot up to the 6,950, which is about sort of where we were in 2018, and the numbers were obviously recovering from COVID. 
Now, last year, it was 8,661. Hmm, what do you think? Now, bear in mind, a certificate is only valid for three months and can be issued multiple times to the same applicant. The lag in the numbers created by COVID and the fact that doctors who come here to train and then go home after COVID need a certificate. Is any of this pointing to the boss of the GMC, Charlie Massey's doomsday forecast, quote, a stark reminder of the challenges we face in the UK? What do you think? Are disgruntled doctors best served by the GMC, whose job is really only to keep a register of people fit to practice in the UK, advise on training and chuck out the baddies, using their members, their registrants' money, to publish old surveys with weighted outcomes facilitating bizarre extrapolations. Look, there's an election in the offing. Do the GMC Council have an agenda way beyond their remit? What do you think? <laughs> Thanks for listening. This has been Roy Lilly, and I hope we'll speak again real soon. Bye-bye now.